we get that on there? Larry Willicott is beginning his latest creation. <laughs> making little wooden tires for a camper. <laughs> and fine tuning them with a sander. <laughs> and router. And thank goodness Larry says he's found this hobby because four years ago when he decided the time had come to give up ice fishing. I didn't know what to do. Larry had a dilemma. I quit fishing. That was a sign of going down the hill. I couldn't handle that. Luckily, he didn't have to fret very long. I saw a lady go past the house with her little baby in a cart. I made one. Just putzing. I burnt wood in my house here for heat, so I made a wood splitter and some little wheelbarrows. Then it got to be so much fun, I went to our church picnic. They had an old a fire engine with a ladder, and I made that. And I just kept going and going and going. And this is the result of Larry's last three winters worth of incredibly detailed work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, everything better turn. This here now, this little truck here, this has a flap in the back, but it also dumps. Oh, look at that. From tractors and a train. But there isn't a nail or a screw in none of that. Everything is glued. To a boat, semi, and milk hauler, Larry simply makes what captures his attention. I never had one pattern. It's all up here. What I see, I can make. As I'm getting done with one project, I'm already getting involved what I'm going to make next. And that's the way it is. Born and raised in the Green Bay area, Larry worked at Fort Howard Paper Company for 41 years. While he's never considered himself book smart, he admits he has a gift to absorb knowledge. My father, he went through the fifth grade. Yet when he come into Green Bay, what 20 dozen of eggs at about eight or 10 cents a dozen. And you ask them, uh, Pa, how much money did you get for all those eggs? He'd give you the answer. And I think I got that a lot from my dad. As for how much time Larry spends in his shop each day when the weather is cold, well, it just depends. Sometimes an hour, sometimes six, seven, eight hours. If you get into something that you can't quite quit, and it's, you've got to develop it before you can take a, take a five and get away from it. You got it, you got the wood, get going. I look at it this way, as long as I keep this occupied, that will take care of this and stay out of that chair in the front room. With warmer days ahead, Larry will soon take a break from his shop and be in his garden or in his boat. He'll also be on the lookout for anything that inspires his next batch of models next winter. I've been blessed. 87 years old, and I still have a lot to do in my life. You can't possibly imagine what you can develop yourself into, if only you try. When I asked Larry what the plans for all of his creations are one day when he's gone, he laughed and said, with six kids and 19 grandkids, he knows they'll have a good home. In Dykesville with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Worth waiting for, we'll see.